All right, scholars, here we are looking at our packet for lesson 64. At the end of today's story, the author tells us that Wendy was about to faint. Question number one, how do you know she was about to faint? Use two pieces of evidence from the text to support your answer. All right, so again, scholars, I'm looking down here. We want to use part of the question in the answer. I know Wendy was about to faint. <gasps> Because, oh, there's my favorite word, because the text says she da, 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 and da, 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 da. so what are two things that you read? in the text, in the story today, that tell you that she was about to faint. Right? What did we read that lets us know that was coming? Like, what was happening with her that lets us know she was feeling faint? Remember, this word and is going to help you make sure you have two pieces of evidence and a starter like this or something similar it gives us a lot of words from the question. Right. For number two, what is one time that you felt faint or had trouble breathing? A time I... And then you'd want to pick, right? You could write about felt faint. So it could be a time I felt faint was bleh, right? or a time I had trouble breathing. So you're going to be doing feeling faint or that you had trouble breathing, right? You're going to have to pick one or the other. So a time I had trouble breathing was when I right and then you could finish that with a time you had trouble breathing or a time I felt faint was when I blah 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 and then there's a second part to this so everyone make sure you get a second part right I felt this way because, then why did you feel that way, right? Why did you feel faint or why did you have trouble breathing? So again, if we look at our rubric, right? If we start both of them this way or something similar, that's going to give us words from the question in the answer. If you answer one and two, then you've answered all parts. Right? If you give two pieces of evidence up here, right, two things you read that let, told you she's feeling faint, you're going to get a point for that. Your connection here to when you felt faint or had trouble breathing is going to give you a point here. And then if you remember to capitalize and punctuate, that's going to give you a point for a total of five points. Now, scholars, if for some reason you've never felt faint or ever had trouble breathing, you could, I suppose, write for number two, right? I have never felt faint or had trouble breathing. And that way you're at least answering the question. But I'm hoping you put a little more into it than just say, eh, I'm just going to say I never have. 
right? You want to build that connection. All right. When you are finished, remember, please submit a photo of today's assignment so that your teacher can see your thoughts on how you knew Wendy was feeling faint and your connection of how you have felt faint or had trouble breathing. Thanks, scholars, and have a great day.